Hello, it's Jack Bannister here, head of sick form at Waldgrave School with a video presentation explaining uh, what the conditional offers mean that we have given to applicants uh, to the sick form for September 2022. So this is one in a series of three videos that we've produced and made available on our website. The others are about how to make your A-level subject choices and, uh, and an outline of the arrangements for enrollment with us in the summer holidays. I would strongly advise all year 11 applicants to our sick form for the upcoming academic year to watch the three videos alongside uh, a parent or carer so that uh, you can be aware of how the process moves forward from this point and make really well-informed decisions about your next steps. So as I've already suggested, this um, video presentation is talking through the conditional offers that we have just given out and explaining what they mean. So everyone who has applied to Waldergrave Sick Form has been given a conditional offer, and that includes internal applicants, by which I mean our current Year 11 Waldergrave students who are wanting to stay on with us, as well as external applicants, uh, by which I mean students who've applied to join us from other schools. So there's been no level of selectivity or sort of vetting of the applications from us every single applicant has been given a conditional offer. So everyone's had the same response. In terms of communication, those conditional offers have been sent out uh, via letters that have been um, communicated through Applica, our online application system. So uh, the letters have already gone out to the internal applicants and the external applicants will be receiving theirs at the start of April, so not too far away. Email alerts should go through to the addresses that you originally used when you set up your Applica accounts, alerting you to the fact that the letter um, has been sent. But it is worth logging on to Applica periodically just to check. Uh, if for any reason you um, are watching this video and, and you think that you completed your application to us but haven't received uh, your letter, I would just encourage you to get in touch with us either by telephone or by email to sickform at waldergravesch.org and we'll be able to look into that and find out what's happened. So one of the things that we want to be really clear about is the meaning of a conditional offer. So the conditional offer means that the student will be enrolled if the following conditions are met. So in order for that conditional offer to be turned into an actual place, the general admissions criteria have to have been met. So all students will have to have achieved five grades at GCSE four to nine, including English and maths. All right. If so, if students do not manage to achieve that with their GCSE results in the summer, they will not have met the condition of their offer and they will not be able to enroll with us. In addition to that, the student has to have met any specific entry requirements for the courses they wish to study. And um, those entry requirements are um, outlined in one of the other videos in this series on how to make your A-level subject choices. But essentially, each of our A-level courses um, has entry requirements whereby students are required to have achieved a certain minimum grade at GCSE if they want to go on and study the A-level. So those have to have been met. There needs to be places left on the courses the student wishes to study at the time of their enrollment and the sick form has to have not reached full capacity at the time of enrollment. So all four of those conditions have to be met at, at enrollment day in the summer for the conditional offer to be turned into an actual um, place. So to summarise, when students come to enrol with us on our enrolment days in the summer, we will check their GCSE results to kind of make sure they, they have got their five GCSEs, grades four to nine. We will ask them what subjects they wish to study and compare their GCSE grades, to the entry requirements to check they've met them. We will double check that, that those courses have not filled up, that filled up, that there is still space available. Um, and we will have to be sure that we as an entire sick form haven't filled up as well. And all of those conditions have to be met for the enrollment to be completed. So the conditional offer is not a guarantee of a place at this stage. It's saying that a, a place will be awarded as long as these conditions are met in the summer. Um, please uh, note that our enrollment is carried out in accordance with our oversubscription criteria, which can be read in full on the school website. Um, so the oversubscription criteria is a set of rules and regulations that come into effect 
and govern how we conduct our enrollment processes if we have more applicants than there are places to give out. So historically at Watergrave, we've always had more applicants than we have places. And so our oversubscription criteria always comes into force. Uh, and it's really important that we stick to the conditions that I've outlined in those four bullet points on this slide because they are included in our oversubscription criteria and we must make sure that we're adhering to those rules. Because there's always a possibility that one or more of these conditions might not be met, um, we would encourage all applicants to Watergrave Sick Form to have um, made applications to at least three other providers, whether that's sick forms or colleges, just to ensure that they have numerous options in the summer. So that's what the conditional offer means. There is no requirement for anyone to respond to those conditional offers. We will assume that our conditional offer has been accepted unless we are told otherwise. So if you want to kind of cancel your application, you're 100% you're convinced that you, you don't want to come to Watergrave, you can ring us up or, or get in touch with us via email um, and sort of reject the conditional offer, but you don't need to do that. Um, we're kind of happy to assume that they've been accepted. As I've already mentioned, the conditional offer um, that doesn't mean um, that the place is guaranteed, nor though does it mean that students are obliged to enrol with us. So um, students, as I've said, are advised to have multiple applications uh, that are live and ongoing. So we know that not everyone who is given a conditional offer by us will end up enrolling. So, um, you know, don't feel like you, you've kind of made a firm commitment to us by, by taking that conditional offer. Um, so that's kind of what we mean by by a conditional offer. So it is good news. Everyone has received that conditional offer. Um, we're, we assume that they've been accepted unless we're told otherwise. But it's really important to be aware of those the conditions attached to that offer and understand that it isn't a guarantee of a final place at this stage. If you do have any further questions about that, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us via sick form at watergravesch.org and we will be very happy to assist you. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day.